Hey what's up YouTube this is FTV here for FTV Productions of course and uh, today I'm going to show you how you can create a very very cool looking rainbow text effect like the one you see here and uh, the words rainbow written in here with all the rainbow colors and uh, it looks really beautiful so we're going to be learning how to recreate this right inside of Photoshop alright so the first thing I'm going to do is go to file new create a new document and I'm going to create a document that is 500 by 500 pixels we choose OK and uh, then we change the foreground color to black and take the paint bucket tool and paint it black alright so the next thing I'm going to do is grab the text tool and choose a, a nice font and just use a uh, Marriott Pro and uh, this is the font that comes with Adobe Photoshop and uh, let's see when it's used bold and I'll change the color to white and I'll just type in rainbow and I'll just maybe lower down the size maybe to around uh, 75 maybe 100 yep looks good and I'm gonna center it up right here and now what we're gonna do is something important and uh, new so what I'll do is I'll go to layer and rasterize type and that way it just rasterizes the current layer then I'll grab my marquee tool and grab a selection around the R and uh, that's why I just don't use a font that's really stuck in and all that and then we're going to use a sh so shortcut so control plus shift plus J and that creates the R onto a new layer that just create just contains the R so with the R layer select I'm going to rename this to R and I'll right click I'll go to blending options and to color overlay and I'll change the color to uh, color code 800 CB6 and it's kind of a purple color I'll click OK and OK once again and at the next layer the next step is uh, of course obvious when I select the marquee tool grab a selection around the A hit control plus shift plus J to separate it out whoops I'm sorry I'm, uh, I'll just select uh, sorry I'm select the rainbow layer and then make the selection hit control shift plus J and that separates it and rename this to A right click sorry blending options color overlay and uh, this time I'm going to uh, select the color of 074 D9D and it's kind of a blue color and uh, the same way you have to move on and uh, select the rainbow layer mark a selection around the eye hit control plus shift plus J to separate it out rename the layer right click go to blending options go to color overlay and you have to do it for all of the letters I'm just gonna pause the video and do all that and I'll resume it when I'm done Alright, so I've done all that, and as you can see, I've colored them in a particular pattern called Vibgyor, so V-I-B-G-Y-O-R, called Violet, Blue, Indigo, and a Green, Yellow, Orange, Red. And on purpose, I've chosen dull colors and not the brighter ones, because uh, we've been, we'll be doing it. I mean, you need to choose dull colors. So as you can see, uh, my layers panel right here, it's got all the layers from R, A, I, N, B, L, W. And what I'm going to do is I'll select all of these letter layers from here to here. And I'll hit Control plus E and I'll merge them back into one single layer. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to rename the matter. I'm going to leave it there. Then what I'm going to do is delete the previous layer. Select this layer and you hit Control J to duplicate this layer. And with the lower copy selected, I'm going to go to filter blur motion blur and and I'm going to change the angle to negative 90 and I change the distance to 100 pixels and I will hit an OK and as you can see we have created a very cool looking effect right here so I'll go ahead and merge it back merge this layers panel back in uh, with these yep like that and um, uh, all right, so now we're moving on to some uh, advanced selection techniques. So what I'll do is I'll select the upper one, and that is the non-blurred layer. 
and I'll select that and go to select load selection and that way to select select I'll hit OK and that way you just select it, select the letter in here now what I'm going to do is select the marquee tool hold down alt and that creates a minus sign beside the cursor as you can see here and we're going to unload and we can select this part and uh, to the very bottom here. and that way it just unselects that part so that only this part is selected and uh, then what we're going to do is right and let's turn white like this right click and go to fill and the fill I'm going to go to color and I'll choose white okay and in the opacity section I'll change the opacity to 20% and I'll hit OK. And then if you hit Control D, you can deselect that area. And uh, now you can see that uh, we've created this rainbow effect. And it's kind of strike through. And uh, the next step is obvious. I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'll go to the desktop and I'll save it as a PNG this time. Name this Rainbow. I'll hit Save okay and uh, there you have it your very own rainbow effect that's been created in Photoshop and uh, I don't need to tell you the utilizes it, how you can utilize this and the trick the unselecting trick is really useful for making particular type of selections so you can always use those tips whether you're using the effect or not so um, yeah that's that's all I wanted to show you hope you like the tutorial please comment like and subscribe and uh, thanks for